Hello from Hios Island, Greece. We are the team of Blue Generation Projects visiting one of the five farm units that Forkey's Aquaculture SA operates. We will explore the daily activities in the fish farming and packaging units. Forkey's operate 130 open sea floating net cages and employs more than 100 people in several roles. Ichthyopathologists and biologists, directors and officers in sales and accounting, managers and technicians in quality assurance and environmental sustainability, harvesting, packaging and processing, sales support, credit control and IT support, and of course, fish farm workers. One of the most important operations in a fish farming unit is feeding. The feeding supervisor is now taking us on board to meet the rest of the feeding team. We can see the cages. Farm workers skilled in feeding follow a daily feeding plan meticulously prepared by the production manager. This plan specifies the quality and the quantity of the feed for each cage and also the time of the feeding operation. Apart from feeding, farm workers take samples for tests to ensure water quality and temperature check the health of the fish population and notify vets, clean and maintain nets. Highly skilled divers visit regularly all cages to inspect and repair the nets and ensure that fish remain in and predators out. They also remove dead fish. Fish health is vital in a fish farm and vaccination is an important means to protect fish from potential diseases. Here, we can see the floating vaccination lab. Fish farm workers collect quickly but gently with a net the juvenile fish designated for vaccination. They immerse them in an anaesthetic bath. In the lab, Trained fish farm technicians vaccinate one by one the fish. Then the fish is transferred back to the seawater and recover within seconds. Now we are with the harvesting team on our way to harvest the fish for the day's orders. We can see the captain operating the vessel, which is equipped with a crane. On our left-hand side, we can see a skilled fish farm technician operating the crane, from which a big fishing net hangs. He immerses the fishing net into the cage and the harvesting team manoeuvres it, so as to capture the required quantity of fish. The harvesting is taking place from specific cages depending on the size of the fish that the customer has ordered. Here, sea bream and sea bass, the most popular species in the Mediterranean Sea, take almost two years to grow from 2 grams to the commercial size of 450 grams when they are ready for harvesting. The technician is guiding the fish in net and finally the crane is dragging the fish out of the sea. We are amazed by the synchronization of this operation, 
necessary to capture the right quantity without injuring the fish and destroying the production. Now they empty the fishing net into plastic containers full of ice, where the fish are chilled by ice shock. Finally, the containers with the fish are transported back to the dock, where they are loaded on a truck and transferred to the packaging unit. Now we are on our way back to the dock. The chilled fish is considered as food and has to comply with all the national and international regulatory requirements related with food safety. 80% of the production is exported to the EU and the USA market, whereas 20% will be consumed in the Greek market. We are inside the processing and packaging unit. We can see the harvested fish being emptied automatically from the ice-filled containers onto an ice-filled tank just before entering the packing line. The quality technician checks them for their organoleptic characteristics, for example the temperature, and then the sorting worker places them in the sorting machine, which categorizes them according to their size. At this stage, packaging workers collect the fish and place them into containers of expanded polystyrene boxes. They also stick an automatically printed label that contains the information for tracing the fish until it reaches the end customer. This label reveals the species, weight, batch number and the exact production history of the specific fish, the type of food they received, their vaccination history, etc. This is the final stage of packaging. The worker places a plastic cover on top of the box and fills it with ice while another packaging worker closes the boxes safely. The packaging worker loads the boxes onto a pallet, which is then ready to leave the plant for the port or the airport. All four Keys employees now feel satisfied that their fish will reach their customers worldwide fresh and safe for consumption and will be part of a delicious and healthy meal. From our side, the Blue Generation project team would like to thank Forky's people for this exciting experience and for sharing with us their passion for aquaculture. <laughs>